Hello everyone, this is Dr. Zach Musa. I'm the founder of Match Resident and I'm also the person behind the logic we have built behind the application builder and now I am going to go through a tutorial for the application assessor. So what the application assessor does is to assess parts of your application um, following protocols. The same protocols we used for the application builder are used to assess your documents our application, uh, the components uh, from ERAS. So what you do is, if if, if you have written a, a, a component, say a personal statement, or you have a recommendation that you want to assess, or you have written different parts of your experiences section and you are not sure how good they are, and uh, if they are addressing every aspect of the protocol, then you bring it to the application assessor and we will give you um, an assessment of every uh, aspect of it. And again, it's the same thing. So let's go through uh, the, um, the application build, uh, assessor and same structure as the application builder with 21 components. And in this case, we will go through a personal statement assessment. Now uh, you give it the title again, let's say journals surgery. copy and paste your component. So this is how you do it. You bring your personal statement or any component of your ERAS application and you copy and paste it into this space, uh, the text area, and you run a check. Again, this process takes about um, 20 seconds to a minute, it depends on traffic. And as soon as you have the assessment ready, uh, you will get a breakdown of every aspect of the component uh, following the protocols that we use for the application builder that, to build your application. And here we go. Uh, these are the results for the application assessment, or the personal statement assessment. You can see we have excellent in every aspect of the personal statement just because I'm testing with a good personal statement and it looks into every aspect of a protocol. Uh, introduction, the introduction part, everything is excellent, professional development, uh, you have excellent components, qualities, goals and aspirations, conclusion, and uh, of course it checks for grammar and spelling and clarity. Now if you look here, we have another area called the assessment insights, and says this personal statement scored all excellent, there's not much to suggest for improvements, but I will give you an example of a personal statement that is missing uh, protocol components. If you look at the application library, say, or the assessment library, here you find everything you worked on. Um, and if we look at, um, at this personal statement, you can see that the introduction, unlike the first component, scored good, excellent, excellent. And you can see some good here, right? Um, so that's not an excellent personal statement. It has some good aspects of it and some excellent aspects of it. And the difference is compared to the first assessment is that this assessment, uh, there's a suggestion for improvements. And you can see where the improvements are needed. Category, early influence, personal experience or personal experience. You can see what was observed, how to fix. And also we give you examples how to fix. Before, how it sounded and after how you should uh, word it. And we look at every aspect of the protocol, the key strengths and personal qualities have issues, same, uh, same, uh, you know, same flow uh, of assessment, category, future growth and specialty, and, and so forth. So use anything that requires uh, or, or needs your attention and needs to be fixed, you'll find it in this section in the insights. So you get the score here, overall score, but here you get detailed insights of every aspect of the assessment. The second, we look at how good the personal statement is or how, how bad it is. So what, what I did is I had uh, our machine uh, or logic uh, basically look into the how strong and how engaging it is. In this case, it's engaging. Compared if you would to go to the other statement, which I will go back to it in a second, um, it would show you very engaging, for example, if it's all excellent, right? Uh, the action plan, what should you do? The improvement questions. So we ask you questions for you to answer in the, in the personal statement that needs work. 
And of course, we show you the notable strengths and the final note. And if you need help basically with it, you can go back to that dra uh, drafting tool, which is the application builder to build this component if you need help with it. So this concludes our assessment uh, tool for Macho Resident uh, Service. Again, this tool is made for you if you want to compose every aspect of your application in drafts, but you want a second opinion, you don't need to go anywhere except just copy and paste your components here in the system and you get a breakdown of every aspect of uh, the components that you have um, from the personal statement to even the thank you letters and the supporting documents and the experiences section, the impactful experience, every aspect of your application will be assessed this way. And the, the beauty of the system is that you don't have to wait for somebody to give you a feedback. It's instant. As you can see, I uh, have demonstrated, it takes about 20 seconds for you to give a breakdown of every aspect of uh, the assessment and what to do to improve it. Good luck. And if you have any questions, please call us or communicate with our team and we're happy to help.